All right, welcome back to Balm Feed. We're doing another merengue video for you. We're gonna do the arm slide and we're gonna show you two different versions, a basic one and a super cool one. Let's get into it. Okay, the man's footwork for this arm slide. So, I'm gonna go backwards four steps, back, 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 and then forwards four steps, forward, 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 forward. My left foot is starting moving first, away from her to create separation, and then my left foot starts to move forward first to close the gap back to her again. When I do the advanced one with the extra elbow arm slide, I'm just doing this thing twice in a row. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I repeat this again to take a better frame. One, two, three, four, and back to her again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the advanced version, I double it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty, time for the ladies footwork for your arm slide, the most basic variation first. We always start with that right foot. We're gonna start with four small steps backward. So we go back right, back left, back right, back left, and then we're gonna go right back to our partner. Forward right, left, right, left. So basically we're going away for four counts and back to our partner for four counts. With the counts we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so with the more advanced variation, all we're doing is repeating that same footwork twice. So with the advanced variation, I'm gonna go back, one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, repeat, back, one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, there's some cool arm work there, but we'll do that together. We go back on the right, one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight, and we just repeat that twice for our more advanced side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Key points for the arm slide. So we start in dance position. I start to lower my arms and move away from her. This gives us a little bit of connection towards each other instead of maintaining the same height, <laughs> which also looks kind of funny as well. So as I lead her into this pattern, I'm gonna lower my arms, which grounds her and then sends her slightly backwards as we slightly press away from each other, doing our four steps both words backwards, both away from each other. And then I will pick the hands up back again, which now will bring us back together again. I can slide up the arm, I can release and just take frame again when I go to meet her. But I would say the most important thing is my lowering of the hands to send us away and the picking up of the hands for us to take frame together. This is my lead to her. Cool. So at the end, ladies, we're gonna slide down his arm so we keep the connection and then we're gonna end in this little hook connection. Ladies on top, guys are gonna be um, kind of to the side, on the outside. And then he's gonna bring our arms up to come back in. And we know just to put it right back into frame. That's it. So now what's gonna happen is I'll do the same beginning. I'm gonna go backwards, two, three, four. As I start to pick my hands up, my elbows are gonna pick up. My elbows are gonna come through as I start to walk towards her. My hands go to my shoulders, so they're staying as low as they possibly can. If my hands are up, it's gonna be really hard for my elbows to break this plane of her arms. My hands stay as low as they can to my shoulders. My elbows pick up now just high enough to get over her arms. I pick the hands up and I bring them to my shoulders. Brings her closer to me. My elbows go just over the arm. As soon as my elbow breaks the plane of her arm, I let go of her hands and I bring them down, sliding on her arm. And we're back to the middle of our pattern where then I can pick our arms up again and take dance position as well. So I do the same thing again. So I've lowered the arms. I brought her hands to my shoulders. I've picked up my elbows over her arms. 
she's gonna stay connected to me the whole time if, because if I lose her, it kind of defeats the purpose. She stays connected to me so I can slide down and we stay in contact the whole time and they can bring our arms up again and we're back in frame. We're gonna use this pattern, this separation from each other to get into a lot of different turns and moves and then we have this option to end all the cool patterns we're gonna do with this extra arm slide at the very end, which is kind of cool. And then we're back in dance position. Yes, yeah, so as you said, ladies, the most important thing is that we're gonna try to stay connected throughout the whole thing. So what's gonna happen actually is when he, he goes from inside our arms to outside. So right now we're inside. So we're gonna be on the outside. He comes up, he puts it outside, and we actually are forced by the pressure of his his elbows to let go. So he actually doesn't need to think about letting go. His elbows are gonna do the work. And then he closes the elbow, which is gonna keep my hands on his back, around his waist, back to slide down the forearms. So just think of it like he said, and just keep contact the whole time. However, if we're doing the pattern correctly, it does lend itself to do that as well. So again, he brings his elbows in and up. When he puts his elbows around our arms on the outside, that forces my hands down and close to his back if he keeps them in. And then he flips up. We catch again and do the basic close. Thank you so much for watching our merengue video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And don't be afraid to check out the rest of our stuff. We think it's pretty good. So if you've already done that and you still want more, please go to the Ballroom Fee Pro section on our website. It is in a link in the description box below. That's gonna be tons of more content, tons of more in-depth videos like technique and styling, choreography, things like that. So if you're looking for more, please check that out. If not, or if so, we'll see you again very soon. Bye.